you know, he just becomes like a, a, a standard melee, you know, kind of bruiser. And Irelia will definitely win that matchup if Scion can't use the brush effectively and can't use that shield. So that'll be really key to, you know, for that matchup, whether Irelia can use that to her advantage early on. Mutual CVs going down. And it looks, seems like Nintendo. Yeah, Nintendo had a, a little bit of a high ping coming into this game. So always get that to you know, you know, turn off. Turn off those torrents. You know, no. <laughs> yeah, and Mono. Uh, well, right now they're they're going to want to play. You know, kind of defensively. We do see them sitting in this mid lane because we do have the snare and then the stun. So you know, some really aggressive play potentially from uh, V8 early in this game. I would expect they're going to come in and use it to kind of counter jungle, steal these wraiths, um, you know, maybe even steal the red. It's it's kind of weird, you know, you don't counter jungle Shivana that effectively. She will be, you know, a very safe jungler regardless, but if they can steal the red from Shivana, then, you know, that'll hurt a lot of her potential. And we did see that we, uh, V8 did drop this ward up here, so they will see if uh, Shivana goes ahead and tries to steal their, you know, red in retaliation. So CV from Mono actually going down at V8's oh, blue, Nintendo. and here we go. Don't do it. Don't face check it. No. Oh, and Nintendo's out in front. Yeah. Can't get away from that, but Unstoppable X, maybe Ignite just might be able to take him away. He's getting away. Ignite dies. Unstoppable X does live. Trieskin will take him the whole brunt of the damage, and Nintendo disastrous face check, unfortunately, and gets poked out. Yeah, and that's kind of just, I feel like, lazy play uh, by Mono. Ex you know, very excellent job counter jungling by V8. Uh, that health pot from Maokai able to keep him alive. But, you know, I guess I think Mono probably should have expected that they're going after the red. They do have a clairvoyance on Sona and just not able to find uh, yeah. V8. So if you don't, if you can't find the enemy team, then I think you kind of just need to expect that they're, you know, kind of aggressively counter jungling you. And walking into the snare and the stun, they have, you know, three disables early on. Um, is basically a free kill. Yep. All right, Mono put the ward down in front of Wraiths, so they had a good educated guess that they probably wouldn't be at red. They CV'd blue. They knew V8 wasn't at blue. So I'm not I'm not quite sure where they thought V8 was going to be. Not Definitely not that bush. They say that much for sure. They definitely didn't think they were in that bush. But, you know, as, as it turns out, they were. So first kill going to V8 for the level one fight. Yeah, and because, uh, you know, Graves and Sona, it is a very aggressive harass lane. Janna doesn't have a heal. We do see Misfortune picking up that cloth armor to start, uh, you know, which will give her a little bit more lane sustain, be okay with the control there. And we see actually Wild Turtle with an uh, early lead against Trieskimo in this top lane. So I'm guessing, you know, she's using a lot of mana, so it's likely uh, as Trieskimo is trying to come in and farm, just, you know, Irelia being able to zone him a little bit. And once she gets some magic resist a little bit later, uh, it will be a very difficult lane for Trieskimo. Mono did grab vision of Unstoppable X in the jungle. He is heading towards the uh, small golems right now and will be uh, doing red shortly after that. Shivana now also doing red and... Janna, of course, you know, doesn't have the heal, so they are going to sit back a little bit in this lane. There is a lot of kill potential from both sides as this game progresses, particularly once they hit level 6, then Graves and Sona will have, uh, you know, fantastic kill potential against V8. But at the same time, Misfortune, you know, her DPS, she's got some of the highest single target DPS in the game in the early levels. So, Unstoppable X is still continuing the farm. Aurelia did decide to back Dorn's Blade. Ward teleporting back into lane just so she doesn't lose too much farm. And uh, Vladimir has also backed, getting himself Tome. Gonna be uh, building towards a revolver more than likely, possibly a Woda later on. And Pixel now putting down that first ward right in front of Dragon just to see if Unstoppable X does try to make a move down bottom. They will know because you know, Mono's being ridiculously aggressive right now early. The last thing they want is to be ganked out of lane. And that ward is actually far up enough where...
Maokai's jungle. Uh, try and counter jungle unstoppable there a little bit. She, you know, definitely does have that potential. Maokai, generally a pretty strong uh, control jungler, but is definitely at a severe speed disadvantage to Shivana. Mm -hmm. And then if she can, you know, start controlling Maokai's buffs, it will get rid of some of his gank potential, which, you know, is their primary concern, how effectively he's going to put pressure on lanes. I mean, Shivana definitely put back by the early kill. Wraiths stolen, had to, you know, start, you know, you know started blue, go the long way around, right now, uh, Nintendo's actually getting in position, top lane, Tree Eskimo waiting for that shield to be popped, Nintendo going in, shield popped, Wild Turtle trying to do as much damage as he can, but Tree Eskimo will just go ahead and walk away. From the sapling landing, <laughs> as I don't think I... I don't think I've really seen that before. Uh, nothing real, and he will not be able to make this one out. Not yeah. be able to get out of that one alive. And so and right now Morgana actually kills. being engaged upon here by Nintendo in uh, their own jungle. Gashix is getting a little bit overzealous trying to steal those wraiths, but Nintendo's just going to keep on poking as Takashi X is trying to walk away. So yeah, I mean now we're seeing that you know V eight has now gotten so gotten themselves the ability. They are you know they they now have the right to become more aggressive as the game goes on. They've gotten three kills already. They can walk away from you know if they are ever engaged upon while they're counter jungling, just as we saw there. Because while Shivana has great damage, no no CC, no CC on her whatsoever. Yeah, and I mean Mono, you know, still definitely has probably a late game advantage. Um, you know, they do have a very strong uh, comp all around if they can get some farm. And so they are doing okay at farming in the lanes, but if they keep on allowing these early kills to go up, particularly on champions like Misfortune, who, you know, can use those kills for a quick snowball advantage, um, it will hurt. And Muffin Cutie actually getting a slow here. One tower hit on Paradoxical, and he's going to have to avoid this stun. We're probably going to have the ultimate. Uh, no, actually, Morgana doesn't have her ultimate yet. Yep. So Paradoxical is going to be able to get out of there. Muffin Cutie, if. If he was if he was six, he would have had the Janna ult and be able to push back Vlad into tower, which would have been so much more of a better position for V8. But you know what? They, they've got the damage they needed. They got the slow. They got the harass they needed. Yeah, and when you know when you're comfortable with your DPS, knowing you know Misfortune has this lead, Aphromoo can just control that lane very well. Janna becomes a very excellent roaming support. She has a number of disables. Uh, she can, you know, take advantage of people being out of position, particularly if you have the damage to back it up in those lanes. So, you know, we could effectively see her moving around and making more ganks mid. In the meantime, we have Maokai coming down here and no vision at all. There's the dash from nothing real, but the Maokai Twisted Advance is going to be able to get a lot of damage there. And again, Graves just can't step up into this lane. Um, and, you know, burst down that shield or anything off of Misfortune. And she's just following it up with a uh, great DPS. Yeah, but because of the, uh, because of how Maokai advanced into lane, they are now very aware that, indeed, he is coming in through their own jungle. So now they're wise enough to put wards defensively in the right areas like that dry bush to see if Maokai comes in for the advance once more. Right now, top lane also Scion burning the ultimate, trying to get as much damage on Wolter as possible, and just going to go ahead and keep on farming. Yeah, and I would I would probably expect to see a early pink from Janna, um, probably on her next back because of how you know aggressive they have been. She can get some wards into the uh, into these brushes to not allow uh, Pixel to be defensive there, and that will allow Maokai to of course get in some more ganks. But uh, right now they're you know in complete control once again of this bottom lane, and top Trieskimo doing a pretty good job against uh, you know Irelia though Irelia more and more is in control of this lane and should be as the game progresses. And we also see Takashi X actually wandering up top lane. There was a ward early up in their jungle, and while Turtles actually also now gotten wise, puts a ward down to try bush, but may get stunned, comboed here. Followed up by the Morgana ult. Walter may not be able to get away from this one. The ult finishes and the binding will do the last bit of damage needed to take her out. Yeah, and I, if they can get kills onto their AP carries, uh, Morgana already having a couple of kills, mm -hmm. but Cyan as well, they will you know snowball very effectively through this mid game. They have a lot of kill potential. They will be able to use those um, you know the teleport from Cyan pretty aggressively. So you know it's we'll have to see, but it's it's really up to Mono Esports to kind of. I don't know, stop V8 from taking these advantages. And 
that a lot of that comes with good ward control. Yeah. Uh, we saw Aurelia trying to drop a ward there, but not recognizing that Morgana hadn't been in mid lane for a little bit, so uh, put herself out in a vulnerable position. And actually, Takashi is kind of out of position here. We are going to have a lot of damage from Mono, and there's uh, Shivana ulting in, and then the ultimate from Vladimir almost picking up the kill. Ignite the Ignite won't be able to do it. No. To do it. Yikes. Yeah, and Trieskimo is going to come in. He did teleport down to a ward in the jungle to help out Takashi X here, and they are going to back up safely. But bot lane has now come up to mid. Ephraim just getting one shot off on Nintendo, but I think uh, we have all five in mid. That is Mono's Q to push the remaining lanes. So bot is going to be going, uh, being a little bit pushed. So will top. Dragon is being pinged. But I think VA's a little bit indecisive. Do we go into jungle for a kill? Do we do dragon? Do we go back to bot lane? What do we do? Yeah, I, I mean, I definitely think that they should probably be looking to dragon shortly. But this, this is definitely not their opportunity. They mm -hmm. need Morgana there for that control. And now the concern is that Irelia does have her teleport, whereas Trieskimo did use his in that previous fight because Morgana was kind of caught out of position. So mm -hmm. if they try and go after that dragon, they will have a you know strong early game advantage because of how strong they have been so far. But uh, Irelia won't be able to help him out. And Aphromoo just continuing to throw off some damage here onto Sona. We do have the Sona ultimate, but there's not the best combo. Uh. We actually, I think, probably had the potential for the kill if nothing real and Pixel were a little bit more on the same uh, yeah. you know boat there. They weren't really as coordinated as they probably could have been to just turn right back onto Morga uh, Misfortune. Mm -hmm. But um, you know they do have that potential now in this lane. Yeah, nothing real. Just decided to retreat just a little bit too early. The Sona ult goes, does go off, and he had to dash in in order to close the range. And he only, had, only got a shot. Only got a shot or two off. Not enough to deal the damage needed to bring down after move. Things going down. In the bot river from V8, Unstoppable X now doing, has now has an Oracles doing some very effective kind of working in Paradox while she being finished off by the Morgana ult is still rooted in Twisted Advance coming in just in time. Unstoppable X will walk away from that one. Oh, that is fantastic. Fantastic chain stuns going on there. Valkai just walking in just in time for that Twisted Advance. Yeah, and uh, Scion recalling back, he could probably come down to this dragon if they're trying to take it as a team and then, you know, head back up top. Um, he's actually just going to head back up top and continue farming. But I don't know, we'll probably see whether or not, you know, V8 goes for it. This is probably about the time I would expect them to go for it. But I guess they might just yep. push back the dragon and know that they're comfortable taking other advantages. But uh, they are actually going to come up here. They recognize that there's no wards on X, but the you know awesome early oracles allows them to you know just take complete control of this map. Yep. Mono ping dragon. They have an idea that they might be doing it, and by the time you know they get any data from Bot River again, they'll realize it is gone. First dragon going to V8, commanding lead, 3k in gold ahead, five kills to nothing. V8's looking pretty good right now, man. They're looking pretty good. Yeah, I mean, we do have pretty good farm from uh, Mono Esports, keeping it kind of even in the lanes, but the only concern is where are the kills for V8? And it's, they're coming in, they're aggressive champions. They have a very aggressive comp, and uh, Misfortune getting kills, Morgana getting kills. Maokai is going to be incredibly tanky in this mid game, where, you know, if he can be aggressive and then, you know, Twisted Advance root Graves in these team fights, then, you know, they can jump on Graves, get rid of a lot of the damage that Mono has. And that's going to be a major concern coming into these mid-game fights. It feels like a lot of Mono's shortcomings here is really like poor ward coverage. Like, you know, the wards not going down to right areas. V8 is actually very adept at getting past wards. And right now, uh, Pixel's actually being uh, slowed down by Muffin Cutie to try and be finished off by Aphromoo. But he's kind of do will be able to get away. But right now, top lane, while Turtle's actually being stunned, Twisted Advance. All that happened earlier, and Walter will just go ahead and walk away from that as well. But uh, Nintendo does have something to say about it. Wandering up around top lane will be needing Unstoppable X right there. Ward goes down. Nintendo uh, does actually manage to take it out pretty quickly. Nice. Yeah, I actually didn't realize that uh, Shivana could just take out a ward by herself. But with the, you know, her Q does uh, refresh her auto attack. So just getting off three attacks almost instantly. Nice. Um, but. The big concern, again, in this bottom lane is how aggressive Misfortune is just generally. They have to f lose this kill potential. They, you know, have to blow Sona's ultimate uh, just in a defensive manner, just to get them out of, you know, the kill range from Misfortune. And, uh, 
that just means that they really can't even come up into this lane now. You see they're being zoned here by Misfortune. She does have great movement speed, particularly her passive combined with the global passive that Janna has. So she can just chase them down uh, with her DPS, and that's going to really hurt them farming in this portion of the game. I see a lot more defensive ults coming in from Pixel because I feel that they're now kind of looking for the counter engage, waiting for the gank, waiting for the ult, waiting for this perfect zone ult when everyone is bot lane looking for a party, trying to get some kills, at which point they can then come back with their heavy hitters and try and, and try and take advantage of the fight from that point on. But they're not really seeing to get those getting those opportunities and intended actually being seen out by the war, but huge damage going down on Janna. Janna ult going off of nothing real, actually being pushed a little bit too far back into the tower, and Trieskin was actually teleporting into a minion and will be focusing down Pixel. Get last bit of damage right there, and now Pixel goes. Almost takes Muffin and Cutie with her. Yeah, and that almost worked out for Mono, but just excellent map control by V8. Yep. Will allow them to get this tower. Uh, I really will be able to get this top tower as well and get a little bit of farm there, so that'll be, you know, kind of nice for them. But uh, it seems that they're actually just going to keep on aggressively pushing down this second tower here. And that's, you know, they definitely have that advantage, but it's going to allow them to take just huge control over Mono's jungle if they can get these early towers. Let's hop Lex taking a little bit more deterrent damage than, than necessary. Skyjax still mid defending from Paradoxical, but that's that's two towers. That is two quick towers bot lane. And Paradoxical actually being a little bit too over aggressive, taking some turret shots, trying to get the trying to finish off the Kashi X and will not be able to get off that last bit of damage. Will walk away with less than hundred health. Yeah, and Morgana can clear out the creeps pretty quickly, so getting the snare onto Vladimir and then uh, killing the creep wave you know, allows her to just hold him underneath the tower. But uh, Vladimir and Irelia should be pretty tanky coming forward. I'm a little bit surprised that Irelia wasn't able to do a little bit better against Cyan, though Cyan has always been one of the strongest laners in the game. He's very defensive, but I would have thought that Irelia would have been able to pop the shield and, um, you know, kind of stop him there. But he's able to just kind of walk up and clear these creeps and uh, provide that, you know, great map control that we saw with that teleport. So, bus just about to hit the 18-minute mark, and V8 once again in a very commanding, commanding lead. Zero to seven, 5k in gold up, about to take another tower here in mid, and Mono really has... ...you taking dragons when they spawn. Dragon won't be up for another you know, two minutes, but uh, continue taking this advantage that they should be fine. And actually, Takashi kind of getting caught here, but he's going to throw the snare back on nothing real. He's going to be slowed so by Vladimir, but there's the ultimate from Janna going to push nice. him back. And now we have Aphromood coming in here as well. The stun is going to go off onto nothing real, and then the snare is going to be able to pick up that kill, but Irelia with the teleport coming in, and Aphromood is going to flash over this wall to get some range while she can DPS Irelia. Irelia is going to be able to pick up the kill, and Nintendo coming in the middle of the fight here. It's a pretty even engage, and we do have good sustain, but Paradoxical taking a lot of damage from Scion, and that shield is going to burst, and Wild Turtle able to pick up the Morgana kill, or are able to pick up the Malkai kill, and they do have the sustained damage in these long fights against the very cooldown-dependent team that V8 had. So, Wild Turtle going to back up. He's definitely in kill range, doesn't want to uh, lose that advantage. But a couple of kills, um, you know, definitely very effective. And Tendu actually almost going down, probably needs to back up. Vladimir trying to see if he can pick up the kill onto Janna, throws Might off the ultimate. Do it. But then the stun from uh, Tree Eskimo is going to be able to pick up Vladimir a little bit too aggressive. And then Morgana no! going to hit the snare over the wall. I really uh, probably going oh, to get the kill. Pops, oh, wow. Pop the hourglass just in the nick of time, just to bait out. And I just, there wow. was no reason for it from Mono. They had won the fight. Yeah. Um, looking to pick up a couple of more kills. Got you greedy. know, really just needed to take their advantage and then sit back with it. But yeah. Actually, even well, even like that fight, I mean, that was, that was at the beginning, two for two. Right. And which, so fantastic ult from Muffin Cutie to get Sona over the wall. So she was not in position for ult. When she does get back in for position to ult, Morgana has been shielded. Ult does not affect her. She's, Morgana is still able to fight. And that was really like, just, that was the big turn. Just fantastic, fantastic Janna ult. And Morgana now with that uh, Zonia's Hourglass, they're already extremely strong, but all this AoE and these, you know, bruisers that uh, Mono has, Morgana's just going to be able to ult them and allow Misfortune yeah. to kind of tear into them. They should be able to keep Misfortune alive in these fights. We saw her kind of getting caught out of position in that last fight, um, but, you know, with all of these supports, this is, you know, we do have the shield from Morgana, we do have, you know, Janna's shield as well. All of these disables, they should be able to keep her alive, 
and uh, Misfortune, you know, already has a significant amount of damage to go along with the burst that all those uh, AP champs they have do uh, do as well. Hey, Morgana, pretty ridiculously fed at this point. Five zero and four has an hourglass and another you'll see large rod and be built into a death cap later on. She's she has everything she needs. We'll get, we'll get all of this damage. Come right on to nothing real. He's got nowhere to go. He has nowhere to go. Morgana can just go ahead wherever she wants, and now Mono, they really have no choice. They're doing a Baron out of desperation, hoping they can finish it before V8 comes in and notices, but CV goes down. They know they're there, and now V8 is just going to go ahead and converge on Baron. Shirelli is going down, Engage going off on Pixel. Once Pixel's down, they have the Sona ult does go down, but it doesn't really do anything. Actually, we heard, we heard the Sona ult. We didn't see the Sona ult. She died too quickly, and the rest of Mono is just going to fall. Yeah, and they're going to be in a perfect position to take this Baron. Now they have plenty of damage with Misfortune. Uh, everyone up front should tank pretty easily. Yep. And this is basically it. You know, V8 at such a huge advantage, getting this early Baron once again. Uh, Wild Turtle should be able to pick up a kill into Muffin Cutie if he jumps in. But here we have the stun nope. from Tree Eskimo. They're going to just chain CC him. And uh, she, you know, Wild Turtle is going to go down any second now. There's the slow, and then the box is able to pick mm. it up. So a Baron and uh, V8... I don't know, really unstoppable yeah. for Mono here, just not able to really get any early momentum in the game. Yeah, I, mean, I think I can tell you know, Mono was Mono was somewhat on the defensive end for some portions of the game. You know, we saw the early aggression coming in bot lane, and you know Paradoxical was also trying to get the aggression, being a little bit too over aggressive in mid, being caught down under tower. But you know if. Um, you know, if you're if you're trying to ramp up for a late game, you you can't die. That's the thing. It's just like that's that's the key to take late game. Don't die often in the early game. And right now, Morgana is six zero and eight, and there's not a whole lot you can do against an extremely fed AP carry. Yeah, and it's it's really hard to say. You know. What what's the weakness of V8's team right now? And they, you know, they do had they did have the late game potential for Mono, but uh, just aggressive play here. They're actually going to pick up another kill on the paradoxical. Uh, there he goes. Yep. But uh, V8 playing really impressively so far from what we've seen this tournament. We've seen a lot of unusual you know comps that haven't been run. Uh, Cyan hasn't really showed up in a while, but he's still one of those really strong laners and allows you to snowball very effectively. We've seen their aggressive bottom lanes, you know, take control against Easy just destroying mono in this game and that was the big key is the you know aggressive damage from misfortune and from janna um and just you know huge map control maokai always kind of coming around counter jungling and they've basically won every single lane in this game mm -hmm. yep and when when you win every single lane it's it's pretty hard to lose that's gonna have, and that is a surrender vote so v8 going to be coming up again momentarily in the grand finals versus a 